Today I'm in Salinas, California looking at a very interesting business model in an industry that has been hit pretty hard with the recession meltdown. And that's the antiques and collectibles industry. Many, many antique stores nationwide have closed or changed owners, modified their business model. This particular store that I'm outside of is called Hall Tree Antique Mall. And in essence, there are approximately 20 antiques dealers that have their stores here. And they share some of the duties of clerical, tending to the phones and the customers. But what they get is a place to demonstrate their wares and actually, at a reasonable cost, something that they could not afford to rent a store is fairly expensive and to maintain it, but they can rent a small space, maybe several hundred square feet, 150, 225 square feet, and then basically share the overhead cost and stay in business. And the other advantage to the participants in this sort of co-op is that they don't have to work, be here every day uh, like you would uh, if you had a store or if you had employees. Interesting business model, the collective or the cooperative, and you see these in various places throughout the United States. Excellent business model, excellent way of um, reducing cost and increasing exposure and keeping a retail presence in the marketplace. This is Hall Tree Antiques Mall in Salinas, California.